Guys, here we are in the bathroom. Um, so I can walk you through some of the stuff that I've used on him. I'm really super duper not picky about my shampoos. Uh, I tend to go with whatever's cheapest. Um, I'm a fan of buying from, you know, like TG Maxx, that kind of thing, where they're nice and easy. Because especially as the uh, cords get longer, you end up using a lot of shampoo. So we got a couple of things here. Um, these again are kind of my generic, nah, throw them in. Um, what I'll do later on as the cords are starting to form is I will dilute these in a mixture. I'll use either a, a bottle like this or even a spray bottle um, with a soapy mixture in it just to uh, make sure that I'm getting the cords clean but I'm not breaking down their uh, composition. Um, I also use eventually, once my cords are formed, I tend to use these guys just for keeping that little bit of white that he has white. Um, this is the, the crystal white. It's the stuff you heat up and then you put it on and you're supposed to heat it while they're wearing it, etc. It's, it's very long. Um, and then this is basically the generic form of uh, the shampoo that's made for um, graying or white hair. Uh, but again, those guys are a little bit harsher on the cords, so I don't tend to use them until after the cords are formed. Um, that way that I'm, I'm not damaging the cords. Uh, the Dawn comes in handy definitely um, when he is super smelly um, because it gets rid of that smell nice and neat, but it's also, again, pretty gentle on the cords. Um, so that's about that. A um, couple other implements again. My squeeze bottle here. This gets used for the shampoo mixtures. Um, I also use this for a trick that I got from the Pooley people, which is using uh, white vinegar, like that stuff right there. And basically what it does is it helps to um, dry out the cords a little bit faster. It's not really as big a deal uh, when they're kind of short, but by the time he was in full coat, the two years of growth, um, that min vinegar mixture meant the difference between 30 hours until he was fully dry and 48 hours before he was fully dry. So I highly recommend it. Um, it also made the difference for me as far as making sure that he never got that mildewy smell, like something was growing in his cords. Um, and what I ended up doing is, uh, I do the wash. Typically when he had the full cords, it, I had to wash multiple times um, in one sitting just to, to get all the gunk out, everything like that, um, because he'd go a, a fair time between washings um, without sh seeing shampoo. But so you wash him, rinse him fully, and then to prep this mixture, what I ended up doing, um, I've seen it done with gallon bottles, but I ended up taking this squeegee and I filled up the... Uh, the bottle to probably the two or the three mark with the vinegar and then filled the rest with water. Um, squeeze out the cords a little bit and then basically douse him with as much of it as possible. It's kind of like a, you know, drizzling on a, on a cake or something like that. You really just squeeze, lift up cords, drizzle wherever you can, um, and then let him shake off and air dry. Uh, and that was basically that, and it really did make a difference when I was trying to dry. So I haven't used that mixture uh, when the cords are forming, so we'll have to see what how it works and, and how it affects his hair uh, before the cords are fully formed. Uh, but that's basically about it. So there's the regimen, nothing special. I mean, the you'll see as, as the months go on that the shampoos change. This is just what happens to be in my repertoire now. Um, the biggest thing is not overwashing that I've found. Um, not really trying to get the product into the hair. Uh, you'll notice I don't have any uh, conditioners in here. The only exception being when I do actually wash him at the very end, uh, as he had fully formed cords, this is probably about the only thing with conditioner in it that I tended to use. Uh, you can tell it's Garnier Fructis, two in one. Um, but I found it gave me just enough of that softness, but it wasn't really destroying his cords. But again, I doubt I would use it before he's fully corded because I've just found that conditioner tends to prolong the cording process, and it just it, it gets rid uh, it gets rid of those 
mats and felting spots where the cords, which the cords really need for strength. So that's that. Um, we'll catch back up with you in a